Right guys, welcome back to Dawn of Man and the Continental Dawn um, free play section. So from where we last left off, we just got the grain processing technology. So we're going to be harvesting some grain in full, which is just about to start. But you can hear that music and a cave bear is just about to attack our camp. So we're going to have to mobilize everyone and we're going to take the cave bear down. So let's do it. Do it. Nice, and it's down. Nice and easy. Hopefully that music should stop. I've moved the graph of the workload graph up here to the top right rather than the rather than the left. That was annoying me a bit. Um, but yeah, so it's currently asking for logs, the hearth. And that's what it's asking for. Um, but yeah, so we've actually just about we've just put down a mortar so we can grind that grain up and then we can actually create flour and we can finally have some bread which would be good so we can have another type of food so we've currently got loads of meat we're fine for fish we've just got our berries and fruit and it's going to start to decay no doubt um by the time we get into autumn time you can actually see that this this hut here is looking a bit disheveled a couple of holes in it um this needs repairing so yeah well, hopefully that will get repaired. But I am keeping just a track of my workload here. So we've actually built the mortar now, which is good. So it will make um, grain into flour. And then I think we use the hearth here to create the flour into two two bits of bread for us. So that will be good. And you can see we've got these sledges here, which is awesome. So people will be dragging these around as they're building stuff, going out and harvesting materials. And definitely harvesting stuff like this massive bear. You can see we've already got his um, leather already, or well not leather, more like dry skin or raw skin on the sledge, ready to come back to base. So that's good. Um, fishing, uh, we're looking low on fish. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're just going to edit this work area, and we're going to move the fish, the fishing. I'm going to make the area a little bit smaller, and we're going to move it over here. Keep it at 20. There's no need to be maxed out. The water seems to be fine. We're keeping good water levels. I'm going to drop it down to one person only so we can free up some people. Flint is something that I'm worried about. That there's not enough people getting flint, but it seems seems to be okay. Um, the hunting area I've moved, if I just go on my vision, I've moved over to here. So hopefully we're getting some meat coming in, but we've got plenty we've still got raw meat that hasn't actually gone up onto these racks so that's what's happening now you can see they're chucking it on there we did see a dog that was infected and that popped up saying that a dog was infected which could be potentially like rabies or something like that oh now we've got a storm so this is our second storm that we've had um i don't know if it affects us at all if people can get struck by lightning if that hasn't actually happened yet um it is now full so hopefully people will be collecting grain now I'm hoping that people are going to start collecting grain. Um, we really need people here to start doing that. Um, that's kind of important. Um, I don't think anybody can collect anything from here. So I'm just going to sort of um, remove this work area for now. And I'm going to get everyone focused on delivering this and getting some grain in. So hopefully we can get some grain. Oh, that was, that was close. What's this? A young bear... An adult female. So they're quite low on health, which means that we could actually take them out. Uh, but we don't. We don't necessarily need to. We can just get get a couple of people in the camp and um, take down the big one. So what we'll do. What you can do is I'll say you can do manual hunts. So the minute you initiate a hunt, some of your dogs, if they're idle, they'll come up and they'll come along with you for the fight. So what we want to do essentially is take that one out and that one out. Um, which I've done. And also we want to take this one out as well, which we've done. So hopefully now... First animal hunted bear, really? But we've hunted loads of bears. That's going to get us way more skin. Skin's sort of really important for us right now. So. 
and we're drying quite a lot of skin here as you can see so what we're going to do is actually put another skin dryer here and what I want to do because I'm quite particular is have another skin dryer there and this is the workload so I'm just tracking that and making sure that we're not like maxing out otherwise people will start to get upset so well-being overall welfare 77% that's quite good prestige has dropped a little bit actually I think it was a bit higher than that which is interesting we do have some knowledge so we can actually get another technology now um, I don't know if whether the okay the straws coming in but I don't know whether ah here we go we have grain now so we've got two grain oh look here we go look someone working at the whole the old mortar there grinding that grain and that's what they used to do very manually um, usually from the mortar you'd have then the windmill uh, the windmill would essentially grind it all up for you automatically or you get a donkey to do that and that's I think the next stage but, okay so the traders come along let's have a look see what he's got so hasn't got anything that I really need um, see straw I could see straw I don't really need right now flint I do so we're gonna get all the flint we can get and um, we could trade him trade him some logs that we don't really need right now um, and some bone as well um, maybe a sling or two there we go so good stuff still got spare capacity for five people so I think I've got enough sleds for people as well so they seem to be some of them seem to be quite idle at the moment so it's fine that one's got loads of bones on it this guy's not too happy so he's having a little prey pick up that Hopefully you'll pick up the other stuff as well. See, for some reason they don't really acknowledge that there's stuff just lying on the floor. So you've sort of just got to tell them to do it. There you go. Nice, we've got ten bread now. So we're actually bringing the bread in which is good so we've actually got like four different types of food now so we are we are looking pretty good we're looking really good then we're just going to put one more dryer down but we don't have a lot of sticks which is what I'm concerned about sticks seem to be yeah quite a low priority right now there's not a lot of people doing stuff if you look at the work it's actually quite low what I'm surprised about. So maybe we, yeah, maybe we didn't. Let me just quickly have a look here. Go into place a work order, and what we'll do is we'll just bring this back again. This is quite a good little harvest spot here. We'll just keep that there. See how we get on. So skin's looking really good. I'm fine with that. We've got some flowers. So that's going to be bread. And um, our berries decay. They always decay. If people don't eat them quick enough um, meat's doing great, fish is good all of the tools seem fine um, so yeah I've got no complaints here as I say this isn't really supposed to be a super super challenging one it's like the first sort of um, not mission but area that you get when you start up the game so it sort of eases you in and you can sort of go through all the ages and get an idea of what worked, what didn't, maybe you changed something, maybe you wouldn't. So, um, yeah, but I'm loving it already. Like, it's, it's, it's really good. Loving the game. I'm loving this as well. Being able to change the UI, that's very similar to Banished. You've played Banished, and other games as well are also adopt that. So, that's quite good. So, what I'm going to do is just to finish off this nice little grid here that I've got, I'm going to go and put a food dried out, but they are 10 sticks. Oh, two humans arrived, that's good. Now we've got 18 people, so might be able to get some more sticks. But I think the main thing for us is flint is a problem. Stone's quite low as well, which is also um, worrying. A new human was born as well, that's good. So now we've got 19 people. 
So we're gonna actually build another hut because we are looking we, we're looking a little low there, so we are actually gonna build another hut. Um about there I think. That's good. So yes, yeah, so this is our settlement right now. This is what we're looking like. It's quite cleared now, so we've cleared a lot of the forest area, but we're starting to expand our sort of residential area here. We've got all of our sort of production line here. You can see all of our food, drying all our skin. We've got our dogs here just on guard. And we've got our tanning area and a mortar here for the bread. Um, so that's what we're doing. What we will be able to do in future ages, I think, is be able to make our own grain. So we won't have to go out and harvest wild grain, we'll be able to get our own. Because we can only harvest grain in full time. So if I have a look at where I am here, I think I've already, I mean these are actually chickpeas. Oh, okay, interesting. So these are all chickpeas. Ah, that's not good. Um, where's grain? Grain's here. This is rye, this is what we need. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so what we're going to do, actually, place a work order to collect. What's that? That's a pear tree. Ah, there's stone here as well, which I also need. I need to collect that stone, yeah. Um, okay, so let's do a couple of work orders. So we'll go and put a work order here. And that will hopefully... We'll up that to two. We'll get rid of this work order. Keep that one there for the berries. And then we'll do one more work order to obtain stone. Which is all pretty much here. So we'll get people on stone. Get it to 15. Get two people on that. And we should be good. Hopefully workload won't shoot up too much. Um, we've got winter time so I think everybody's just... Usually when some when people new people arrive, we give them all the sort of a nice little package for when they arrive, let's say. So we give them a bi face, we give them two sets of clothes, you've got your skin outfit, you've got your leather outfit, and then we'll equip them with um like a basic wooden spear um and everything like that. So Yeah. So for example, if we did have an issue with Flint, I would take this off and I wouldn't have it automated anymore. And I'd be the one who decides when to make it. Um, but right now we are looking pretty good. What I might actually do is um, have that as 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 that as the, the bone spear is equivalent to that. So I may as well just have it like that, and um, we may as well have that as a bone harpoon as well. So there we go. So everybody has all the tools they need. That house has already been built. That was quick. How are we looking? Welfare is really good. Prestige has gone up a bit more because we've got more people. Uh, total housing of 24. Uh, we've got now got four dogs. And we've got five sleds. So five sleds is probably fine. We don't need any more than that. Um, hunting sort of gone down a bit. We've got plenty of meat, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I want the stone to come up a bit, to be honest. So I'm probably going to build another mortar next next season. Uh, berries are decaying, that's fine. The so work work order is actually dropping. The workload's dropping overall. Is surprising. I think it might be because um, people aren't hunting. The hunting work order isn't the best. Let's have a look. So hunting's the main one and there's actually no animals here to hunt. Uh, fishing, I've only got one and I've got it maxed at 20, so we've nearly nearly used all of that really. Um, there is someone still fishing here though. What I might do is actually bring it round, but you've got to be careful because there's cave hyenas here. And cave hyenas will just be a nuisance. So what I'm thinking of doing actually is grabbing a few people. And actually going out and taking these hyenas down uh, and what I want is actually I'm gonna edit the work area move move the fishing back over here 
um, and grab, you know, just keep one person on it. And there we go. So now we're going to have a little army that goes out. That's going to go out and deal with those hyenas because they will, they are just aggressive and they will just attack. For some reason, bears don't attack though. No, you can just walk past bears and that'll be it. Are they, are they still there? Oh, they must have gone. Okay. Good. Bringing stone in now nice and quick. Got six stone, so that's probably the um, the sleds. The sleds are really good. So sleds are going to bring stuff in a lot quicker. Also, it's going to make people a lot happier because I don't have to trudge. You can see this guy down here. Hammering away. What's he using? A flint pick. There you go. Awesome. Yes, yeah, so it's going along really well. We've got 10 knowledge. Completely forgot about that. So let's have a look, see what we can do. Um, that's required for the bone knife. So we can get a bone knife and a bone sickle. Now, sickle is going to be good to harvest that grain. So I might go for bone polishing, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. What can I do here? Maybe pulse processing. Let's go for the old bones. So bone polishing, now we've got access to the bone knife, which is a better cutting tool. I um, don't think we actually have a knife, apart from butchering. So this is actually a better tool for butchering than the others. Uh, that is also good for harvesting, which is better than the biface. So maybe we should move to having bone knives and bone sickles rather than having bifaces um because that does use flint up and i'd rather use bone because we have loads of it what i'm going to do is i'm going to take that off and i'm going to say um uh yeah because i kind of want to let's do that bone sickles let's get a couple of bone knives I mean, it doesn't cost much, does it? I mean, and a couple of bone sickles. Bone sickles sounds like bicycles, but weird bone sickles. Okay, so we've exhausted the flint area. That's a shame, but there's plenty more areas that we can get stuff. So if I that work area is obviously automatically just been deleted. So let me put a work order in to obtain some flint from here there we go seems like the next best area we'll up that to 30 because i've got a feeling that flint's going to be quite a problem workload's going down so i'm going to upload upload i'm going to up that um this isn't ready so that's probably why it's another reason um i'm actually going to get the hunters to go out because I don't think there's a hunting area let's have a look at the manage work areas collecting and harvesting fishing hunting yeah this hunting area is crap yeah you sort of got to move the hunting area around um, the best area I think uh, well a good one is here are we gonna we're gonna put that there and we're gonna try two simultaneous tasks and see how the workload takes So bone polishing, I think all that really does is just get access to the bone knife and the bone sickle. And that's pretty much it. It doesn't really do much else. No. But then you can get stone polishing. And then I think that means that you can actually have flint sickles and flint knives, which are going to be way better. Um... But I am actually going to get the pulse processing next. That's the next stage. I think I've done everything I can actually so far. So I'm making bread now. Um, tannin. There's no need for tanner because I don't have any tannin. This is, this is the problem. This is why you've got this sort of gap where you've just got to wait and there's nothing you can do. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. 20 people. I think this is a new milestone as well. 20 people in the 
in the camp. This is awesome. There we go, look. Milestone unlocked. It's going to get a nice little picture of the town. Or the village. Let's have a little look. Come on. Come on. If I click it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Expansion. That looks pretty damn cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Awesome. So let's have a little look where we are. So fishing, we're fine. Yeah. I mean, at the moment, nothing can really go too wrong. I've got a lot of reserves, a lot of surplus. I finally got zero raw meat, which means that I've got the correct amount of food dryers going on. People are also keeping food in their tents, I think, as well. So that's another thing, and their bread. So... Water's fine. I mean, there are a few things I'd definitely do different again. And that's why this game's really good. And also, it puts you in different environments, different challenges, scenarios. So, you know, it won't feel so samey every time. The wild donkey escaped. Bastard. Okay, let's go. Go back here. Look at that. Workload's so low. I mean, in the winter it's going to be because you, you don't have to harvest berries or... I mean, tannin you can get in spring, berries you get in the summer. So tannin, spring, berries, summer, and then grain is full. So... Well, we might actually build another hut, actually. This is interesting. I accidentally hit the uh, number five. And it's saying what... My graphs like for straw and population. So population, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Domestic animals, workload. See, I don't know what this means, 105. I don't know what that means. Does that mean average? What? I don't know. I don't know what the numbers mean. I'm not sure what they mean. I mean, I'm guessing this is zero. Right, yeah, 0, 105, 210. So, yeah, we sort of want to keep it a minimum around here. So they're sort of half efficient at the moment. They're half occupied, let's say. I'm not using them to the best of my ability. So we're getting loads of knowledge now, actually. So we can actually move on, and we're going to go for pulse processing. So here we go. Pulse processing allows you to harvest wild pulses and cook them. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let me have a look. Has that changed anything within the production? No. It's going to change it in the harvesting, though. So let's have a look at the work order. And it's going to be from this, isn't it? And I think pulses are the stuff over here. I'll have a little look. There should be pulses around here. They're blueberries, but there should be something. Let me race harvest. I think that's what it is, like chickpeas. Chickpeas are pulses, right? I'm quite confused. We've got a lot of things to harvest here, though, which is good. So we've got a harvest area here. And we're going to have a harvest area over here as well, because I think there's a lot of stuff that we can harvest. Over here, for example. So we're going to have that. So in the springtime or the spring and summer, people are going to be quite busy. Just the winter. The winters are just a down downtime, really. The dry fish is decaying. So, yeah, we're going to get some food that starts to decay. And that's just natural. Fish is looking quite low around here. So I'm actually going to move. It might be because it's winter. No, it's not. Okay, what I'm going to do simply is just move it around here. These people collecting the flint. That's good. It's quite autonomous. We're getting good stone. How's the stone piles coming along? Fine. This person's not very happy. 
not very happy for some reason. Okay. So all pulse processing is is simply that I can just harvest peas. I can't actually do anything else. Once we get to cereal domestication, that's where we can start farming and stuff. So that's what I might jump to next. I might save up and jump to that rather than doing stone polishing in the archery. I'm just going to probably jump to that now. Oh, look at that. I love spring. So now everybody's workload should start to to go up now. So we should have some sort of change here. Because people need to go out now and start collecting. Because um, you can collect tannin. Wait, no, it's not. Collect tannin. Need to wait until it replenishes. Okay. Interesting. I thought you could. Uh, okay. Ah, there you go, tannin. But that oak, for some reason, is actually. Okay. Let me edit. Hopefully we'll get some tannin. Yeah, harvesting needs to like happen. I've got three harvesting areas around just because it's crucial. I'm hoping we can get some There you go, tannin's coming in like wildfire now. So now we're gonna get on and make that leather that we've been holding. So we've been holding loads of dry skin as we've been, you know taking down animals um, how's the hunting going over here okay it's fine we're doing good I've put everything unlimited because you know we're, we're never in we can always do with more so I might have actually another hunting area and see how how the game deals with it I've only really had one hunting area and I was thinking of maybe the only problem is you got to be careful because there's... So we just have one task and one task each. This has two, so it's has just one. There we go. A lot of people are going to be busy now. I expect it to sort of start shooting up a bit the workload because we've got two hunting areas we've got three gathering areas so we can get our tannin as I say like tannin here is oh shoot I know what I did wrong there I've got the wrong work area what we need is just essentially just edit this Make it bigger. Just click more. Simple. And do not stop it at anything. I want to have unlimited. Unlimited tannin. There you go. I'm starting to jump up now. Bread's decaying. I think the people should eat stuff that's decaying quicker or is the worst. Oh, you got it. Good. I keep forgetting that we're actually quite well equipped. We've got like a flint spear. Okay, so. Oh. Trader has arrived. What have you got to sell me? Flour. Mm, we could actually do with some flour. Um. I'll take the flint. Mm, dry skin, like we've got quite a lot, haven't we? We could always take some more though. Well, that's a lot. Jesus. Christ. Um. There you go. That's just too much. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
Problem is you don't have any currency in the game because it's such you you're in such a early stage of humanity. You don't have a currency. You just have to trade what you have for something else. And if I don't want anything, I can't do anything. So, kind of sucks. Everything's going well though. I might build like another totem just to, just why not? I mean, you don't take up that much. Bones are quite. We are quite low on bones though. That's because we've been crafting all of our tools. We've got like nine bone sickles now. Um, we've also got some bone knives that we're doing. We're not actually having bifaces anymore. Ooh, actually, we can have bifaces going. We're just making everything. Like, we've got so many tools. It's crazy. Lots and lots of tools. Got loads of tannin. 21 tannin. So, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Bread's decaying. I'm not too fussed. Yeah, dry fish is decayed. I'm not too fussed. Whoa. That's new. He has an infection. So how do we deal with... Well, I've never actually done that before. Look at that. So this guy's got an infection. So, can we kill him? I mean, he's going to spread it, isn't he? That's a problem. That's what I'm worried about. He's drinking his water whilst he's infected. Hmm. I don't know how to deal with the infection. I don't think you can kill him either. I mean, he's old, so he might die. Can you kill him? He can't do anything. I don't know what's going to happen there. We could lose some people. Our workload is like plummeted. Soon when it's summertime though we'll get loads of berries in and everything. That flint's gone, that's never coming back. How's the flint doing over here? I don't know what happens when we start to actually really seriously run out of flint. I think we can actually get flint mines. Um, and stuff like that. So we we'll always have flint essentially. We got five sledges, so I don't think we need any more. Could I go ahead and build another another house? Go ahead and build one. It's the first infection that I've had of one of our people, so... I don't know what's going to happen there. I just wanted to kill him, but I can't do that. I mean, you, that would happen, though. I mean, come on. If someone's ill, you just kill them. Back in, back in those days. We've got plenty of wood, rocks. These are all our different materials that we can have. Charcoal, copper, tin, or iron. We can actually get in the Bronze Age, but there's no point right now. Looks like we've got two sets of hunters as well, which are bringing in quite a bit. Ah. What? Why? He died of starvation. Well. Don't be so... F just foolish then. <sighs> Seriously? I mean, he is old. I mean, he's a bit stupid. Like, why would you stay out here that long if, you, if you're going to die of starvation? Yeah. It's, that's just silly. That's the first time that's ever happened. So... Well, welfare is really high. Prestige is still good. Um, we've got any problems at all right now at the moment. You know, it's summertime, which is good. That's when the berries come out. So workloads should be jumping straight back up. Everybody picking the old berries and raspberries and stuff. Storage tents are quite low. Might be 
build another storage tent maybe. Especially with the berries and stuff and we've got bread now. Oh! Oh, what's this? I can pl a place to store straw. Ooh. A haystack. Look at that. Looks very odd, doesn't it? Put a little haystack down there, and we're actually going to build another storage place. Yeah, basic storage tent. We'll build another one. I don't bring out some food with them, like some berries or something. I don't know whether you can. So sticks, that's fine. Obtaining stone, 15, so just up that a little bit so we can get some more stone. And let's have a look at the old flint. Two people, 30. Okay, that's fine. We've got the hunters doing what they need to do. We've got a fisherman fishing at 20. Two new humans, that's good. Nice. Ah, oh, and one, one died of old age. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. <laughs> He's dead. Of course this is going to happen. Work close too high? No. Uh, it's definitely not what that's saying. Unless that means the... Oh, there we go. It shot straight up. And it's mainly because we've got um, people now harvesting all of the wild plants and stuff. So we've got harvesting people harvesting over here. We're just going to drop that to one. And... Yeah, we've got two harvesting spots. Let me just manage my work areas. Two harvesting, one fishing, two hunting. Um, stick gathering. Yeah, way too much. Just put just two people on that for now. That should bring it down a bit. Good, got another storage tent. Don't put rocks in it. Still work loads too high. I don't think it is. No. I mean, how many kids do we have? Five. So we've got 15 people. 15 people. I guess if they need to... Yeah, I think it's because some new people have turned up. We've got one person collecting water. We've got one person fishing. Um, it might be the hunting areas, actually. We've got two hunting areas. Remove that work area. There you go. What's that? Yeah, we need to take care of that. <clears throat> you go. Cave hyenas are horrible. Anything that starts with cave is going to just be a problem. So we need to take care of it. Little pear tree. To be fair, we probably don't need people working so much on the stone. Drop that down to one and keep it 25. Stone's not necessary right now. Well, to be fair, there's a lot of stuff that's not really necessary anymore. And like we've got loads of flint. It's crazy. We've got surplus. We're just waiting on the knowledge, and I think we have it, everyone. See, I don't know whether just to go straight for this domestication, wait for 15, or go for the bone polishing, or stone polishing, sorry. I mean, archery, miss. I mean, what's that going to do? Give us a bow, and I, mean, I guess we can do that just to see what it's like, but I mean. 
New humans born. Very good. Very good. What are my milestones? Where are my milestones? Manage. Milestones. Okay, so we've done four of ten. So we've got to unlock the Neolithic. Got to get ten goats and sheep. That's with domestication. Build a stone stir circle. I think you can do that in the spiritual here. Megalithism. Megalithism. So we're going to wait actually till we get up to 15. So that's what we're going to do. I think that's our plan. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that there. Um, it's been an awesome part. Awesome. Um, it's going really, really well. Really love this game. Very sort of chilled. I like the music. It's just very pleasant. It's quite casual. It's not too constant. Um, I like the seasons. There's sometimes the rare events. So we had somebody who contracted a disease. Luckily, it didn't spread. And he died of old age. Somebody died of starvation trying to come back from a hunting trip. Um, just bad planning on their behalf. Um, and also sort of getting to grips with the whole managing workload, which is this little bit at the top right that I've got. So, um, yeah, it's starting to get a little tricky. But we've got a big surplus of food and stuff and tools. So I'm not really, um, I'm not too worried, um, to be honest. I know this is sort of the easiest level of the game. It's the first sort of stage. Um, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, love it. And I um, hope you can join me in the next one. So thanks guys for watching and um, I'll see you then. Bye.